like I say, a general movement's on the steering wheel. He's not, you know, pulling it around. We're not in a go-kart race. He doesn't drive this like he drives his car. He's going nice and steady, keeping it nice and straight. Apparently he's putting the uh, course in his sat nav as mark, so hopefully he can find his way around. I thought he'd stop for a 45 minute break, then it took that long, but obviously not. He's still at it. He's really watching his near side mirror now, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be watching the other side of his trailer and his near side, going nice and steady. Driving these trucks, it's, it's, it's all on your mirrors. Make sure your mirrors are nice and clean, and then you can see what's going on behind you. You always want to be checking your mirrors. Don't forget he's trying to get it nice and straight for uh, attempting to reverse. No help as well, ladies and gentlemen. watching the cones at the front, as he's sort of driven out this bay, he's obviously got to take it very steady, because his back of his trailer will have been here, and when he turns sharply, the back of the trailer wants to come out here, and sort of technically cause damage, so that's why we're taking it steady there, a professional driver. Once again, he's better to arrive a minute later than not arrive at all, so better to go nice and steady. You can really see the trailer working, she's got so much weight on. I think we're going to have to put some new tarmac down here when we're done. He's taking this nice and wide now. The key to driving a truck is to sort of take up as much room as you need. That's why sometimes when you see a truck say turning left, it'll get into the right hand lane to turn left. So just be aware of that when you're around the truck. It needs a lot of room, it needs a lot of space. So I don't think we've been, you know, ignorant and hogging the road. Sometimes you need all the road, sometimes you need a bit more of the road alongside you virtually. He's talking well over 50 feet long here. He needs a lot of room. He needs a lot of room to stop as well, these modern vehicles. I know they've got good tyres, ABS brakes, etc. But they do take some stopping. That's why we always try to make a good gas between the vehicles. That means the, uh, when you're in your car, it's not the two second roll. In the truck, we always stay at least four seconds distance. And obviously in the wet, in bad conditions, we, we leave even more than that. So we try and leave a safe distance. Once again, he's, he's, he's operating the uh, unit to try and kick the trailer over a little bit. Very gentle movements on the wheel. He's trying to keep it nice and straight. It's very tight on these corps. It's only like a bit of that pulley inside. You know, there's not a lot of room. Nice and 
said it. Like I said, better to back on the uh, morning bay nice and steady than race on 100 mile an hour. Give me a pat when you think you don't mind. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's very difficult to see these cones. Um, there's not a lot. I mean, if I stand here, you can only just look and see me and see what's going on behind him. So I think that's okay, isn't it? So, job done, Mark. So, back in the forward in the bay. Going to pull forward, Mark. Back Uh, Nate Vicker L1, uh, Mingling Sandy 